some smoke in my location. I'm checking it out. Making Smurf Berry smoothies, officer. Yo, what is up, boys, and welcome back to you on our video brought to you by G2A.com. Check out the link at the top of the description and use code SIFE for 3% cashback for some cheap video games, as always. Anyway, I've had a few people ask me what I think about this new identity gameplay clip. It's only two minutes long, it's really not that long. But I've had a few people ask me what I think about this new clip, so I thought I'd talk about it in this video and let you guys know some more information which you didn't know about. For example, when identity is going to be released to its backers, which I can tell you right now is going to be March 21st to anyone who backed it for $30 or above. Personally, I backed the game for $100 on a very very successful uh, Kickstarter that we held a while ago. And if you know nothing about Identity already, essentially, I think about two years it must have been ago now, they started a Kickstarter with really not too much, some basic screenshots and some video clips. And the developers behind this game, their only experience really was that they made a very, very successful armor-free life server, which was called Asylum, which is still operated to this day, but doesn't get anywhere near as much attention and updates as it used to, because obviously the developers from that are focusing on this standalone game. But to put it simply, and to stop wasting your time, although some of you may just not care about my opinion, what do I think about this? I don't sugarcoat things as you guys know already, whether it's early access or however many developers are developing it or how much money they've got to hand, it really doesn't matter. I think the game doesn't look too amazing. They are trying to do something very, very optimistic, as you would have seen at the end. Essentially, it's supposed to be, you know, hundreds of players in a massive open world with guns, with drugs, with houses you could buy and decorate and all that kind of stuff and i think that goal is going to be near impossible to achieve from a small team with even the decent amount of money they've achieved through their kickstarter and all the funding since then which is hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars still even with all that you need a lot of talent you need a lot of time to make something like this uh, more than just an idea and to make it a reality i'm still excited for release and i do hope that it's a good game because really this is the last in my opinion or one of the last uh, games that really are in the genres which I really, really like, roleplay and survival, which are standalone, which are kind of exciting. Other than this game, if you're talking about those two genres, I think the only other game that's really coming out this year that I can think of off the top of my head is Scum, which is a survival game. But in terms of purely roleplay, there's not many games which try to focus on roleplay elements. The main winner, I guess, in the game space for roleplay right now is GTA 5 roleplay, which I do like, but it is limited to 32 slots and very shit-sounding voice over IP, and it's pretty plagued with bugs. Until those things are all fixed, it's not really something I'm too interested in playing. Once we do increase the player slot up to 64, which 5M do definitely have a plan to do so, I've been told by a few people, and uh, hopefully sorting out the voice of IP, although I'm not really sure if there's even a way to make the voice of IP as clear as it is in armor. If you guys were watching my videos before, you'll know TFR is one of the main reasons why armor roleplay is so good, uh, but I guess we'll see what happens with that in the future. But with all that said, you would see, or maybe you wouldn't have seen, but if you did see this trailer already, you would have seen that there's a lot of people who are very, very excited and very happy to see this gameplay trailer. 
Right now, at the time of recording this video, it is currently weighed at 1,216 likes versus 35 dislikes. I'm not saying you should go and dislike this trailer. I didn't like or dislike this trailer, but there is, considering um, it was a scripted trailer, which we could have spent hours and hours on, there is something to be desired, I feel like, for this trailer. You just gotta keep that in mind. Yes, it does look okay. No, it doesn't look amazing, but considering you could have done this about 500 times over, this is the best we could have came out with just a month away from release. And you got to keep in mind, if you guys are looking to back this game, which you absolutely can do, which I'll have linked to their website in the description below right now, um, that the initial release, which is coming out on March 21st, is simply the Town Square module. The games work in the same way that a game such as um, Star Citizen works, where they release in modules. So the initial module, this initial Town Square module, as far as I know, it's not going to have guns in it. It's not going to have cars in it. I could be wrong about that one, but it's definitely no violence. It's pretty much just a place for you and your friends to walk around, to buy some clothes and stuff like that, to hang out, and to decorate your apartments and your houses, which if you've seen this video in the top right, I made a while ago, um, that is a possibility. So there is definitely some cool things about this game, but ultimately, in a massive open world with hundreds of players, with decent sound and voice of IP, in a standalone, you know, development studio, it's it's not easy to do this. And it's not like we're trying to make things simple. Even when the player was in the car, you would have seen park, left indicator, right indicator, use radio, open door. It's not like these vehicles are obscenely simple, or the mechanics inside the game are obscenely simple. It seems like we're trying to do a lot, and we're trying to do all that stuff at the same time. I've also got a question why exactly the developers are spending so much time on creating all of these things as functional parts of a game, considering apparently they're not going to be in the Town Square module. Do you know what? I could be misinformed on this. Maybe all the stuff you can see in the gameplay video right now is going to be in the Town Square module. But as far as I know, it's not going to be. And I also do have to mention, I don't know about the Kickstarter dates, although you could check the Kickstarter itself. In fact, I will right now while recording this video. But I know I talked to one of the developers of Identity at uh, PAX East in 2017, which was about 11 months ago from now. And the main developer of that, Motown, who also was the main guy behind the Armor Free Life server uh, Asylum, he said that was going to be coming out in the next few weeks. And obviously we are now here at almost March 2018, and it's only going to come out now. In fact, if I look at the Kickstarter right now, it looks like the estimated date of delivery was December 2016, and I'm not entirely sure when the Kickstarter initially released, but it's been a while, to say the least. You know, I did back up for $100, and I hope it doesn't suck, because then I can get a dope game, and I can also get some uh, a game, which is why I love roleplay, um, and it could be maybe a big part of my channel, it could maybe help on my channel, stuff like that, but I'd say after the big disappointment that Survivor Nights is, which, I mean, here's a quick look at the viewer, or not the viewer account, the player account right now, you know, if you think my YouTube channel's dead, look at that game. That game is, ugh, it's not looking too good, but updates are kind of, eh. And they just didn't do what they promised they were going to do. And it's the same with this game, with all of these complicated features with, you know, police being able to use a uh, laptop instead of a car, and, you know, to park your car with all these complicated buttons and shit like that, and have all these custom animations. This is, to me at least, nothing more than a scripted demo, which shows some promise, but should not be used as any indication of what the actual game will play like, because it probably will not play like this. If you see any scripted demos by Ubisoft or any other big studio, they spend a lot of time on making these demos look as good as they can, and when the game comes out, it sucks a bit more than the demos, because the demos were an optimum gameplay experience, you know? That's how people are going to present their shit. They're not going to make it look terrible. It's the same with anything in life. You're not going to make any product look terrible. You're going to make it look as good as you can. And eventually when you get said product, whether it's a game or, I don't know, even like a deodorant or something, I don't know how you're going to sell that really good, but it's going to be a bit less than that. But especially with games, it could be a lot less than that because there's kind of a bit of depth there, isn't there, with gameplay. I'm not trying to convince you guys to back the game or not to back the game. I'm just letting you know that, uh, you know, it's coming along and it's coming out very, very soon. And it's something which a lot of people, as you would have seen with like and dislike shit, and also with amount of money for first, uh, there's a lot of people who have a lot of faith in the developers and are really expecting a lot out of this game. But I think most people who are not invested with their wallet in this game, they don't have, uh, you know, an $100 back out or whatever else, um, and they don't actively browse the forums, they are not delusional, and they will say that this gameplay just looks okay, because it doesn't really look amazing. It just looks okay for a scripted demo. I'd love to see what it's like in-game, with voice of IP, performance, although we can't see the FPS in the bottom right, which looks decent, the scale of a world, 
how many players you're going to see on each of these worlds, how much of that is instanced, how much of that is not instanced, and all that kind of other stuff. I would have shown some stuff throughout this video in terms of assets, which I've shown in the past few months on their dev blog on the website, all of which looks okay, but ultimately everything which I've seen that came out of this team, I'd say could be really put together in a relatively short amount of time. If you've got a few people who really know what to do and all the assets you would have seen could have been probably put together in a few months. There's nothing here which really stands out as amazing. It's just some pretty good looking assets, but you've got to question the gameplay and all the other stuff, which really the only gameplay we've actually seen, ignoring the Kickstarter trailer, which is not gameplay, it's just looking at assets, is um, this right here, which, you know, third person indoors looks a bit clunky, to say the least. And then also the interior design gameplay video we've seen a while ago. That's pretty much all we've seen in terms of gameplay. Other than that, haven't really seen too much. We haven't even seen this guy go in and outside his caravan. In fact, it kind of looks like it's a bit of a different scale, maybe. I could be wrong. And also, you can see when he shoots him here, he kind of does this weird animation over and over again. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting game. Hope for the best. But after Survivor Nights, I'm pessimistic for anything which is made by... Or just a Kickstar, really. Something that I want to tell you guys about, which a lot of people really, really do forget about, is not every game is meant to be successful. Not every developer is a good developer. And I'm not saying these guys are bad developers or a game won't be successful. I hope it is, like I said before. But um, it's the same with someone who's going to make a YouTube video. If I say I'm going to make the best YouTube videos, they're going to be amazing. They're going to be different for these reasons. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be successful. It's the same, the same rule applies to game developers. If someone says we're going to do all these awesome things with hundreds of players on a massive open world and shit like that, you can't just take that for granted and be like, fuck yeah. The dudes have very little experience in game development. I'm sure they've hired some outside help as well, but still. It's not cheap to make video games. It's not easy to make video games. This is a much bigger deal than simply making a YouTube video, right? So it's possible that these people simply are not capable of making a good a good game. Like that's perfectly reasonable. Not everyone can make good video games. Not everyone can make good YouTube videos. You know, I'm the perfect example of that. Sounds like I'm crying a bit right now. I'm not. <laughs> people got obscenely deluded when it came to Survivor Nights and I, I hope for the best for a project. And you know what? I still hope it turns around. I hope that um, they can, you know, make it what they shown in the trailer like seven months ago, eight months ago. That trailer was dope, but they removed a bunch of features and it kind of sucked because of that. And very buggy, very laggy. No one on a server is dead game. Not good. But uh, yeah, it's possible that someone could say that we're going to do a lot of things and that they simply do not deliver due to a lack of talent. Okay? Not everyone manages to accomplish their dreams. So stop putting your money behind these projects with these people who have got very little experience, although it is pretty much the only hope you've got and expecting the best, you know, be, uh, be vigilant, uh, be real, don't just suck up and be like, it's gonna be great, it's early access, it's gonna be great in a few weeks, because Survivor Nights and many other projects out there are perfect examples of that, they never became what they said they were gonna be, okay, maybe they will one day, but it's possible that they won't, some games such as, um, I thought that game was called Dead Matter, no, not Dead Matter, that's coming out. That, that'll probably suck, but that's coming out. That's a Kickstarter zombie style game. It's not State of Decay. I completely forgot the name of the game. But it was a game which I completely forgot of because it's so shit. Uh, although I did have hope for it and I did say nice things in my video on it. I'll put it on the screen probably. Um, that game ended up being cancelled after changing engines twice. You know, it happens. Games come, games go. They don't always do what they, gotta, what they say they gotta do, okay? That's it. Anyway. Those are my thoughts on identity. It's a two minute video and I just talked for 14 minutes. Pretty impressive. I definitely should get a raise for that. Um, as soon as this game comes out, people have asked me, oh, Are you going to play it? Yes, I'll play it as soon as it comes out. But I don't have high expectations. I think it's going to blow. But if it doesn't, awesome. I'll be like, I was wrong. The game's awesome. Okay? Don't worry. I have no issue with sucking up my ignorance and being like, I was wrong. I'll do that. No problem. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this game in the comment section below. This is really one of the only last hopes in a standalone roleplay game. So here's hoping. As always, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. You know, I did the $100 package, so fuck yeah. I'm hyped. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.